It was their first official visit to the site, and we were happy to have them. But being a highly technical team, I took along reinforcement in the person of Mr. Luciano King, just in case I needed some assistance. As usual, I provided the background information and then allowed them to ask questions. We started work in 2008, August, and this is 2013, November, the end of November. And what you can see around you really is where we are at after five plus years. This is where we're at. We are at the stage where we are at runway level and we are putting stone base on the runway in preparation for the pavement, the actual pavement works for the runway. We have in that area, which we call the first kilometer, all of this area, and we have also put some in the second kilometer. The middle here doesn't have anything because we, we are still using this access road and you don't want to have too much heavy equipment operate here, operating here and people are still moving along. So when we relocate the access road, then we will continue this work along here. We have also allowed the vegetation to grow back on the shoulder area of the runway and we are currently doing some land reclamation on the northeastern end over there. So we are reclaiming some of the land from the sea so that we can continue the shoulder area for the runway. All of the runway strip itself would be on land, but part of the shoulder will go over into the ocean. So we are doing some land reclamation as we speak right now. Now when you're coming to St. Vincent, you're going to come in this direction. This is the southern direction, so we're going to come over the Beckway end. You land here and you taxi your way down towards the terminal building. The runway strip is 9,000 feet, which is the international standard size, and it's 150 feet wide. Okay. Our apron, which is all that land space you're seeing in front of the terminal building there, we have three interconnecting aprons, commercial, general, and cargo. And depending on the size of the aircraft that we have on the ground, we can park up to about 40 aircraft on the apron. We can park side by side three wide-bodied jets and we can also at the cargo terminal we can park two jets the size of the Amerijet side by side so we can take a lot of freight in and out of St. Vincent when that time comes. The cargo terminal will be constructed over there in that area that you're seeing cleared over there and adjacent to that the fuel farm would be placed adjacent to that in that area as well okay this is the front of the terminal building that you're looking at this is the front and on the other side where you do your drop-offs departures and so on that's the back but it doesn't look like a back so I call it the building with two fronts because it looks like a front yeah and the parking lot would be in front of that um, back side of the building there so basically that's what you're looking at here. This lower end that is closer to us is the domestic end of the terminal building. This domestic end would be used by flights going to and from the Grenadines. So there's those small planes, the domestic flights, those would be used in here. Liat and up would be used in the international area of the rest of the building going down there. So what you're looking at here, basically, it's where the, the, the conveyors would come up with the luggage and also the boarding gates on this side, on the downstairs. All right, any questions so far? What I want to find out is when the access road to, to those um, properties in the back, they're going to start. Okay, as soon as we finish with the blast in here, we will continue. We actually had started, but we had to stop because of the blasting activity. So as soon as we finish the blast in here, we will continue that road. There was also a question about the material to be used on the runway for pavement. We are going to do both. So we are doing asphalt and concrete on the runway. The stopway, we have two heads. Eh? The, the runway is built with two heads. So the stopway, which is at the very end over there, and the other side will have hydraulic concrete. The runway in the middle will have asphalt concrete and the apron area would also be hydraulic concrete. Following the visit by this highly technical team, we were graced with the presence of the senior citizens from Central Windward. Numbering over 100, they came accompanied by their parliamentary representative and Prime Minister, Dr. Rav Gonsalves. And from the outset, it was clear that not only did they want to see what was happening at the airport site, but they wanted to let their voices heard on the issue. My name is Vosselin Anten. I'm proud and glad. I am proud and I can't wait 
Free I put to finish. Praise the Lord. My name is Doris Tito and I'm from Connery. I am glad for this effort. And one thing I want to know, I want to quote it in the Bible because what the devil has meant for evil, God turned it around to be good. And I am very grateful for the effort that my Prime Minister made. And may God continue to bless him to do many more walks in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. My name is Joyce Carr and I'm pleased to be here and I'm always keeping a breast on the television and I just wish you all all the best. Keep up the good work and hope and trust that by the help of God this airport will finish and I will be maybe one of the first to fly on this. My name is Rupa Kanad. I'm, I'm from South Rivers and I want to get the first flight from this airport before I did. Yeah. If I live for sea, whether Trinidad, Barbados, America, England, anyway, I want to land down. The first flight, Rebecca did. I want to say thanks to the government of St. Vincent and the Indians, especially the Prime Minister. It's from my era, Connery, my village. I thank him that we're do, doing something for the country. And it will continue to do more. And the people in St. Vincent and Grenadines will keep this government in power as long as they could to make he or the, the government do things for us. Because if you get a different side, I believe, it would take place here, it would not take place here. My name is Miniva Grant and I'm from Connery. This is my second visit to the airport. I came here with the Connery Primary School sometime earlier this year. And I've seen work progressive a lot. It has improved and I'm so happy for this invitation to, the, to be here again. And I am asking God to spare our life. I want to fly off and fly on on this airport. So I'm asking God to spare my life to get a ride off and ride on on it. Thank you and bless every minister of government. Keep us together. And I wish all those who are all can join. Join with us. Put hand and help to let this airport be a reality. I'm happy to see all of my friends from North Central. We're not like a... We are friends and family. This is not a question of a political leader and members and supporters of the government. This is a family. This is how we, we function up in um, North Central. When we, even when we don't see each other, and we see again, it's like family. Love. It's family. And, and we know, we know, I know everyone here personally. I know every single one here personally. I want you to be able to find a politician in St. Vincent who you can take from their constituency randomly. 130, 140 elderly persons and others and know them personally. It's a, that's how the love is. And I'm happy that they're here to see this airport. They were also taken across to the airport's terminal building for a closer look at what is taking place there. To find out more about the progress of the Argyle International Airport, log on to www.svgiadc.com or find us on Facebook at Friends of the Argyle International Airport.